I need some sort of intro, so I'm inserting it now. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey guys, Just is a Mess here. I'm Jess. My entire life is a mess. And today I'm going to do a quick talk through on how I made my Death the Kid wig. I get so many questions on it and I don't have the money or time to do a tutorial on this right now. But I thought that a talk through would be good enough. At least it would answer your questions and you would know exactly what I did to make my Death the Kid wig. So it might be easier for you to make yours. So today I'll be telling you exactly what I did to get this product. So I used a normal black wig that I found off of eBay. I was originally using it for Gamzee and female Gamzee. I can show you a picture right here of what it looked like in cosplay, what it looked like completely brushed out and normal. That was the wig that I started with. And then I ended up not doing Gamzee anymore and I didn't have anything else to use the wig for. So I was like, oh, let's make a Death the Good wig. Don't be afraid to style your own wigs get used to it, it may come naturally. You, you don't even know until you try. This wig in particular was very cheap. It was like $13 on eBay. So, you know, if you end up getting this wig and you mess up cutting it, you're only out $13, you know? And then you can turn it into something else. So when it came to cutting the wig, that's the first thing that I did. So I put out the bangs on my head, like I tried it on and I made sure that the bangs were between my eyes because you can choose to cut it shorter and have like the spikes to more closely resemble his hair. But for me, I just like to do one bang so that I don't end up having spikes in my eyes, you know, all day at a convention. So that's what I did and then I hairsprayed that there and my hairspray that I love using is Tresemme number no. 5. It has a really nice hold, um, but I will, I did use another one, but I'll talk about that one later because all you need right now is this one. So I sprayed that and then I just sw swooped <laughs> this back and I started cutting it and when you're cutting something like this to make it sort of have a natural decline, uh, you want to I would say pay attention to what your hairdresser does. Um, you sort of take the hair in between your fingers like this and then you cut like this so that it'll have a more natural descension. Is that a word? Don't cut straight down. Um, it's better to cut up in little pieces. Take your time. Do not rush this. Uh, if you take your time, it will come out better. And I did the same thing on the other side and then I hairsprayed it. And then in the back, it basically already kind of came like this. It had sort of an up an upward motion going on with the back hairs. Um, so I just sort of took them and I took them out to the side and I just like sprayed them with my hairspray. I don't think I cut anything back here. I think it was a good length. So again, if I can find this wig, I will link it down below because it is perfect for Death the Kid, I think in my opinion, whatever, because he has these little swoopy things, you know? So um, I just swooped these out and sprayed them and I did have a little like wooden rod that I put down like right here so that it would swoop more, you know, have a bit more of a curve. So you can try doing that as well, or you can just use your finger and spray it, but then your finger's gonna get all sticky. <laughs> Nasty. So that's basically the styling and the cutting of the wig. I hope that, that made sense. But anyway, the most important part is the stripes in his hair. So to do that, uh, it was very simple. I took some scotch tape. I basically made the lines with the space between the tape. Does that make sense? So I put one right here. Oh god, that was horrible, okay. So like, I put a piece of tape around there, and then I put another piece of tape here, and then one down here, and then one up here. So everywhere that there's black around the white lines, that was all taped down. Um, it doesn't have to be one long strip, you can do like, multiple short strips to get a better curvature if you want to. Um, but for me, that worked. So you put tape around everything and then you take some white acrylic paint. This is from Delta Creative. I'm pretty sure you can get this brand at Walmart, but you can also check Hobby Lobby. This just says white. It's just a white acrylic paint. And then you take a paintbrush. You, uh, you take a paintbrush, you put it in the paint, and then you just paint the lines. I actually painted down. I think it's a good idea to paint with the hairs and make sure that you get it really saturated and um, so that it sinks into the hairs that are below just the top so that it gets that more opaque whiteness. One coat may not be enough, but this is pretty good white paint, so who knows? I don't remember. I made this like a year ago. No. Two years? Oh my god. <laughs> How old am I? <laughs> what year is this? So mine isn't completely even, but that's okay. It kind of goes up in the back. When I was making this, I was rushing through it because I was kind of like, oh, it's probably not going to turn out good, whatever. But it ended up turning out pretty okay. So I probably should have taken more time with it and made sure that the uh, lines were not as slanted. I mean, they're really not that slanted but they do sort of go up in the back just a little bit. When you get to the back, you totally can put another tape or another piece of tape back here just so that all of the lines are 
aligned. <laughs> so after I felt like it had the shape that I wanted, the lines were painted on, I took a different kind of hairspray. I took some got to be glued hairspray. That hairspray is so intense. The reason why I use Tresemme to start off with is that with Tresemme, if you mess up what you're hairspraying, you can sort of just like brush it out. It can get back to where it was without you needing to wash the wig. So like if you're styling your wig for the first time and you're not sure like if you're gonna mess it up or not, this is a good thing to start out with so you can get it to that perfect shape and then when it's good and you're like, I don't want it to move ever, you go in with got to be glued. So that's what I would suggest doing. I used Tresemme to get the uh, shape, the basic shape that I wanted, and then I went in with got to be glued so that it stayed that shape. Uh, for these bangs right here, the way I got this uh, to a very nice uh, point was I used the got to be glued spiking gel. Most places you can find the little mini version, so I would go with that because you do not need a lot of this. This is a very intense gel. So I just took a little bit, got it between my fingers, fingers? <laughs> fingers and just sort of like rolled it and smoothed out this little corner here but that's how I got it to that nice little point you can do that if you want the smaller like pointy bangs as well and then after everything was done I took that got to be glued hairspray and I just dare spray the shit out of it so that it would never move because I knew I mean I'm using acrylic white acrylic paint here. I was never gonna wash the wig. If you wear a wig cap every time, you don't really have to worry about getting the wig dirty, like the wig cap will get all sweaty and stuff, but this should stay fine. Um, but if you're just like a germaphobe and you're like, oh, I really wanna clean the inside of my wig, how do I do that? You can just take some cleaning wipes, um, some like sanitizing wipes and just wipe the inside of your wig and you're gonna be fine. You don't need to wash it unless you wanna redo the style, so. That's all you need to know, I guess. It is a really simple process once you actually like have everything that you need. I mean, I only used, I can fit everything in two handfuls. If I had the got to be glued hairspray, I could fit it in this hand and I would have everything. So this is all you need. Oh, I forgot. You also need scissors. <laughs> I think this Death the Kid wig is about two years old now. So it's still going strong, guys. Look at that shit. Wow. So I'll leave all the steps in the description bar below in case you need to like read it and just hearing everything wasn't enough for you. Um, so hopefully that'll help and again I'll try to link the uh, wig in the description box below again. But you can just search black wig on eBay and you'll probably find something that works for you. Anyway, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it helped you out and if it did, give it a thumbs up. I will see you in my next video. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I hope that you guys can join me on the journey to finding out. We'll see you next time.